today's word of the day is from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verses 5 through 8. Jeremiah, chapter 17, verses 5 through 8. Amen. It says, Thus says the Lord, Cursed is the man who trusts in man and makes flesh his strength, whose heart departs from the Lord. For he shall be like a shrub in the desert and shall not see when good comes, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness in a salt land which is not inhabited. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is in the Lord. For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters, which spreads out its roots by the river, and will not fear when heat comes, but its leaf will be green, and will not be anxious in the year of drought, nor will cease from yielding fruit. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's worthy of reading again. Thus says the Lord, Cursed is the man who trusts in man and makes flesh his strength, whose heart departs from the Lord. For he shall be like a shrub in the desert, and shall not see when good comes, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness, in a salt land which is not inhabited. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, and whose hope is in the Lord. For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters, which spreads out its roots by the river, and will not fear when heat comes, but its leaf will be green, and will not be anxious in the year of drought nor will cease from yielding fruit. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's interesting. He talks about not fear when heat comes, and we got a heat heat wave coming right at us here in California, a very serious one. Um, and so it really explains itself here. The, the bottom line is God blesses those who truly trust in him, uh, and we need God to reveal to us if we're not. I know I'm guilty of it, uh, trying to prepare, trying to do things rather than just trusting in him. Uh, and what do we do when we know we don't have the level of faith we need? We, we reach out and fly out and ask the author and finisher of our faith to give us the faith to be totally sold out to him and be led by his spirit. He may have us do things as long as it's led by it's his spirit. That means we're trusting in him and not our own wisdom, strength or anyone else. So Heavenly Father, we come to you today and we pray that we are not those who trust in man, that you check our hearts, Lord, that we don't depart from you so we don't end up in parched places. Give us the faith, help our unbelief, cause us to trust in you like never before because there are there is not only a physical heat wave, there is all kinds of trials and tribulations not only happening now but coming, Lord, and we need the faith to trust in you through all of it, so that too, we too, our lease will be green and we will not be anxious in the year of drought, nor will we cease from yielding fruit, Lord. We ask you to make this our lives. Let us be your example in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord.